All right. Good morning, guys. Welcome to a new pre oh, why is it not loading? Pre mark analysis. Today's the 10th of August. I'm going to quickly look at how we did yesterday or how our our analysis did yesterday. I didn't sleep that long. Oh, I said too much on my phone. Yeah. And then I slept like six hours. Well, five, five, six. And I need my seven, eight. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. But, you know, it is what it is. Why is this loading so slow? This is looking good. But this is not my trade style. Oh, nice. Okay, 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 okay. Look at this. Okay, so yesterday I said shorts from here. I was in the car when this happened. So let's just quickly take a look. I know I should do this at pre market analysis, but uh, that's shit again. No entry there. Break is here. Then we break above. Oh, yeah. Okay. This was for my journaling yesterday. Finally did it. <laughs> Took the news there. So what are we looking at today? Well, pretty straightforward. We have a we have some early sellers here. Well that's 50 minutes, so not really interested in that. Then we have a previous daily high up here. Can I drag that across? There we go. And we have a nice previous daily low down there. And with that, we can work already because we know that we have this one hour supply zone. We have a bearish break, we have a bullish break, and that's the structure we work with right now. So for shorts, what are we looking at? We're looking at price to come above and then give us a short entry. Why not inside this range? Well, we have a high, low, high, high, low, high, 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 low, high, 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 low, high, high, bearish break, bullish break. So we are, we have an internal bullish range and we have liquidity hits in here. I'm actually going to class this one as my Asia high. This one is my Asia low because I want that one to be taken at least. So it doesn't matter if I take this one or that one. If we go to the five minute, we can see that the move from here is not even that strong. So let's just take this one. There we go. Yeah, we need to get buff there. This is a nice early seller move. Not going to lie. But then high, low, bearish break. Well, we sh we could see price move from here. That's very valid. If you class this as your early sellers, then this could be your POI where the move comes from. As you can see that we have internal range liquidity. We have a bearish break. So it is valid in that sense, but we still inside that bullish range. So bullish leg so I'm I'm looking for shorts from above previous daily highs uh pretty short analysis again mm, now let's add some juice to that so today we have news we have CPI CPI today here we go of course CPI but so we can expect slow price action now again oh if we start Monday gave a move Tuesday and Wednesday. Tuesday was up. Actually, Tuesday was Tuesday was a huge move. Monday was all right. Tuesday was a huge move, and then Wednesday stay in the place because New York was already maybe um, setting up orders. I will look at four hour candles. What can we see here? <laughs> Yeah, we can see that we came above that wick closure, a lot of wicks now going to the upside. So we're looking for those wicks to be taken and then get the move. 
And ideally that, that wig take is a wig as well. So that kind of would look something like that, that new four hour candle. So I hope this helps. If not, then it is what it is. So that new candle ideally will look something like this. You get what I mean? So this is that wick that just wicks above the highs. Then we get that. So this will be the candle open, wick above, and then candle closure down here. But I would ideally that's a small wick to the downside, and that indicates that bearish momentum a continuation <laughs> to the downside. So yeah. <clears throat> Daily wise. Yeah, it's indicating exactly what we can see in a four hour with those weeks to the upside. Same on the on the daily, weekly, not really necessary to look at. All we can look at for now, we can see that we're working to the downside, but here we respected that low, here we didn't respect that low. So might be a, uh, yeah, it's an insights week for now. <laughs> we started where we were on Monday. We got to keep in mind that we have those equals up here though for that short here. That's an important thing. Keep in mind that we have equals here and we got more trend line building up. So actually to pull it all the way across. So got to keep that in mind as well. But I'm looking for shorts from above here. And no longs for me until we are below. <clears throat> Sorry. Below previous weekly lows. <clears throat> Damn, man, I look so white. I'm, like, yeah, I'm looking at myself. I'm looking so white. Need to get some sun. Almost less than a month moving to Bali. No, not moving. Well, for five weeks. That's going to be sick. Same here. We cut. Of that liquidity. Sorry, I don't know. Got about the liquidity. Took that. What? There we go. Create equals. Didn't take previous daily highs. Didn't take previous daily lows. For now, we already took yesterday's previous daily lows. Tuesday. Lows are still intact. break oh we didn't take the news though did we yeah we did so we got the bearish break we can now look for a continuation down hmm tricky one just the wick and we got the highs up here building up more liquidity Tricky one, tricky one. So I'm leaving GU for today and not trading it. Because I want to see GU come above here with all those equals. It's just too much liquidity. I don't see reasoning. Well, yeah, okay. This is the only area I would short from. Why? Because we broke below here. We got that liquidity building up here. Uh, we got Asia highs up here. But look at how small those London sessions are. So to get up there, that's a proper 500, 600 pips. 500 pips from here. Mm, I don't see that happening though. Longs. Oh. We can look for longs. Well, let's stop. Um, 
what's it called? This um, let's stop doing that. I was it was gone and now I'm doing it again. So get below here again. That's that's a thing. But that's a liquidity based play. We have we have a uh, I'm sorry for that. Well, what is it? That took liquidity. Okay, so we have a additional story to that. We took previous daily lows. So another part of this story now. And we got early buyers. So if price comes below H lows, I can look for longs. And then not based on structure. So that gotta keep in mind that it might not play out because it's again structure, but we took news lows and now we gotta take the highs. So that's a play, that's a nice play. So complete opposite of EU where we wanna see the highs taken first. It is what it is. And then we're gonna get that move and then G U D X Y took those lows, got the move to the upside, liquidity to the upside as well. I think G U or E U that short is not gonna play out with those highs here, and that's just my idea. But it is valid nonetheless, so we can look for shorts here on E U. We can look for longs on G U below Asia low, and D X Y indicating trend line liquidity and liquidity to the upside. So. Got direction, no bias on EU and GU, but same here with that liquidity to the upside. Uh, so I don't think EU shorts is a nice play, but it is valid because if we take these highs here, it might be equal to taking these lows here. Get the move from that. So that would look something like that. And that's quite valid as well. Oops. Taking those aisles. Oh, this fly has been in my room the whole night. It's pissing me off. Get out of here, man. Get some friends or something. All right, yeah. So, EU... Sorry for the slow breakdown. EU, previous daily highs taken and then shorts. GU, Asia low taken and then longs. Because we don't have early buyers yet. So this is the first set of early buyers. I don't class this as early buyers. Uh, yeah. It's too far away as well. We yesterday. This is today. And then DXY. It is shorts from up here. Seem to be valid. And long from below this liquidity, looking quite valid as well. So that as well. Although we took that fifty minute internal liquidity though, what I was talking about yesterday. But we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Okay, DXY is a bit harder to read for me. But um, that almost fits perfectly. That Amsterdam um equals up here. Yeah, so I think either these highs will be taken today or these lows. Or and I hope we get the move from this and then this. But for GU, I would like to see this and then this. So that will be just up. It will just be up from here and then the shorts. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. This is my pre-market analysis bit. Okay, on the rusty, sketchy side. Um, ooh, okay. But let's see, let's see, let's see. All right, I'll catch you guys in the market. I'm, I am trading today. I have time to trade. I can just put my charts on the side while working. So working on the Forex tool. Uh, I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.